everyone, this is Jenny Garcia from Earthy Scrap, the blogspot.com. Earthy Scrap on Facebook and Jenny Garcia N on Instagram. And today I'm going to share with you five ways to use the Tombow adhesive dots. These are uh, three eighths of an inch. They come in four different colors. They come in yellow, these here, um, yellow, blue, green, and red. They retail for $2.99 and we have $100 in this package. So, five ways to use it, and the first one is with foiling. And it's super easy. So, for this card, we're gonna be using paper from Pretty Little Studio from the Gold Mine collection. And it's a line where everything is goil or copper foil. Really fun. You should check it out. And I'm also going to use the Tombow Extreme Permanent Adhesive to glue the car down. If you saw the movement I did, I tried to do uh, an L motion because the Tombow Extreme Adhesive is really thick. It's five times thicker than the regular ad adhesive. So you have to cut it instead of you know going up like you normally would do this stamp set is from alt new it's called modern deco alpha it's a really cute font and the washi i use is from recollection the gold washi and i'm just positioning my letters i'm not putting too much stress on being centered i'm trying to do it as center as i can but i certainly it's not really hard to put it in the center if you are really particular about having it exactly in the center you could use other letters to fill the space so you can know exactly um, in what position the whole um, phrase will be and now we're gonna add the adhesive dots and I'm using for for this card, I'm using the yellow ones since I'm using gold foil. I mean, you're not gonna see it through the foil, but it's, I don't know, it's just for uh, my peace of mind. And on the corners, I'm cutting a few of those adhesive dots in half. They actually cut pretty well and they don't get stuck to your scissors. And this is the clear snap designer foils and this is the color gold mine there are a lot uh, there are a few colors of this deco foils and i really really like them they're easy to use and you can also use your adhesive runners in order to foil your your projects and your cards i'm using a stylus to get the corners of of the adhesive dots I try to hold it with my finger and I'm just going back a little bit on top after I put the whole circle to cover any any p uh, places where the gold foil hasn't attached especially what some sometimes when you pull it out it stretches the adhesive dots a little bit so this is ensuring you know that those places where it did stretch, they get covered in gold foil too. So here are the cards, super easy, super elegant. You can make a bunch of them if you need to make a set or make multiples of them. Now, technique number two is going to be glitter. And first, I'm gonna stamp my image and my phrase using the Waffle Flower Make Something Today stamp set really cute stamp set and I'm also gonna use a uh, color box crafters ink from Ann, uh, Ann Butler I've used aquamarine and sunshine and they're actually for fabric and wood but I really like the colors so I wanted to use them on this card that big acrylic log is from Stampendous and I love it because it's big but it's really thin thin but firm so it's light because I had the Martha Stewart one and it was pretty heavy now I'm stamping the phrase the sentiment that says be there or be square 
and now I'm gonna use the clear snap fine clear uh, it's not clear glitter it's winter frost uh, but the cool thing is that you can still see the original color pretty well and here I'm using the green and yellow adhesive dots and the cool thing about using fine glitter is that you could use other colors to mix and make new colors for example if I were to use a blue fine glitter on the yellow it could make a pretty green if I use that blue on the um, the blue glitter on the green adhesive dots it could make like a teal you know you can experiment a lot and of course I'm pouring my glitter into cardstock so it might turn into a huge mess and once the adhesive the glitter it's on the adhesive dots you want to use a little brush to clean up your card a little bit and I'm using like an old cheap makeup uh, brush cover a little bit more if you feel like it and they feel velvety you know they're gonna lose it's not gonna lose the stickiness but since you have glitter on them they feel really soft and I made a mistake right there but I'm gonna show you how to fix it with the Tembo Mono Sand Eraser and I love this eraser as you can see I made a boo-boo using ink but I also use it when I'm writing and I smudge and when I'm writing with the Tembo dual brush pens and sometimes I smudge and it works perfect to fix those mistakes it's a great little eraser for crafters for artists, for everyone. And you see, it's out there. Instead of having to restart the whole card again. So, it's really fun. So, my third uh, technique is heat embossing. It's basically same as the glitter. This is clear embossing powder from Colorbox. Distributed by uh, Clear Snap. And for this one, I'm using the red and blue dots. And I'm just gonna place my dots, you know, around the card so my eye moves all around the card. And now I'm gonna pour my uh, my embossing, my clear embossing powder, on the adhesive dots. And you the same. You can also use like a slightly clear uh, embossing powder from any other color, or use any solid color if you want to. So you can emboss your dots and make kind of your own enamel dots. Here I'm melting the the embossing powder with my heat gun, and as you can see, it's turning. It's getting transparent. So I'm gonna do all of them. It's a really fun technique, especially if you love enamel dots. I really love enamel dots. So, this is a fun technique. And this is how it looks. All clear, nice and clear. Technique number four is to use it for gift cards. And Oh, let's pretend first of all that <laughs> this hotel key is a gift card because I forget to pick one I actually always keep like a little stash of gift cards but my daughter had like three birthdays in a row so I use them up but uh, Target lately has been uh, making cards that don't fit in the little envelopes so what I do is I put a two one or two dots in the card and I put them directly on the, on the on the greeting card on their birthday card or Christmas card and it's there perfectly you see it's not gonna fall but at the same time you can remove it from the card obviously you're gonna be a little careful and then you can take uh, take off the adhesive dots and voila you got your card And technique number five is using it to adhere embellishments. And the first um, embellishment I'm gonna adhere are rhinestones. And it 
it's really easy and the cool thing is that you could add it to uh, surfaces that are not really paper like if you want to add them to a ball or a lamp or a, you want to do a home decor project if you want to bedazzle a globe and also you can use buttons of course which are pretty nifty uh, you know if your kid wants to add little eyes to a puppet or anything and third I'm gonna use it in flare buttons lately some flare buttons have been uh, you know sold with uh, dimensional foam tape which it's a little bit of a pain when you do project life like I do because you don't want the extra bulk so I take uh, off that adhesive and I use an adhesive dots and you can glue coins or um, metal embellishments and the cool thing about using it in coins you know for kids projects or whatever is that you can remove them just like I removed the gift card and you take them back but at the same time they're not going anywhere you see and they're heavy and I'm shaking away but it's there so I hope you enjoy these five ways to use the adhesive dots make sure you follow Tembo on social media so you can be aware of the sales that have been going on lately because a few, like a week ago they had a sale where these adhesive dots were 99 cents and they were sold out really fast it's a great deal and you can use in so many ways so you know share with us in social media what you're doing with your adhesive dots and follow me on social media so you can see what else I can do with it you can follow me on Facebook as Earthy Scrab follow my blog on Block Loving and that's earthyscrab.blogspot.com and everywhere else Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Periscope if you want to listen to me doing saying dumb things in Periscope <laughs> follow me there too uh, so it's live no filter so I hope you liked this video give it a, a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe too so thanks for watching bye